What is going on everyone? This is Marshmallow Matt and welcome back to Bear With Me. I've been really excited to get back into this one. This was so much fun. I actually had a couple of scares in the last episode. Um, and this is one of those games you want to watch from the beginning. So don't start with this one. Uh, go back to episode one and then I'll catch up with you here in a little bit. But for those of you who have already watched the first couple episodes, let's dive on in to Bear With Me. Okay. Uh, let me check my inventory. I believe I just found the duster before I left this episode. So we're trying to find a way into uh, Flint's room. And there's this hole in the wall, and we have a duster now. So let's lose... Let's lose. Let's use the duster on the hole in the wall. Ah, that's the right thing. I'm doing good. Oh, clear... Cleaned it up. Go crawl through. Why don't you clear crawl path. through? <laughs> Obviously, I can't fit. Otherwise, I would totally do it. Sure you would. <laughs> Let's go to Flint's room. Oh, is it just Ted going? That's okay. Do we get to play as Ted? Oh, wait, no, we don't. The case oh, storyboard. Was control. So fast, I had to hold on my hat. Nothing made sense, and it was getting more twisted by the minute. We've come across an old buddy of mine, who has suddenly found himself out of purpose and place. The steel mill, where Rust worked for years, got blown to bits. Hundreds of hard work, honest people lost their jobs overnight. The police are writing it off as an accident. Coincidentally, there were a lot of accidents this past week. The Jesus. whole damn city was burning up and no one was doing anything about it. Did I pick the wrong time to get out of that dump? According to Rust and Millie, one man is responsible for all this mayhem. In one week, he's become a synonym for fear throughout the city. And police and thugs alike are shuddering at the mention of his name. They call oh my him God. the Red Man. Nope. Nope. I have a strong feeling in my gut. It's all somehow connected. My retirement, the fires, and the official cover-up. What happened to Flint, the Red Man? It's all leading to her. I feel she is the key to all of this. The last piece of the puzzle I have to solve. Does she know more than she's led me to believe? Or have I let my suspicions get the better of me? It's hard for me to admit this. It's also downright stupid. But I've let myself trust her over the years. We've worked together. And I have to trust her now. Sooner or later, we'll find ourselves back in that hellhole in the city. This bond I have with her will be the only threat I'll have to hold on to when things go from bad to worse. In Paper City, all bets are off, but the stakes were never as high as now. Well, is it very surprising that your city called Paper City is burning down? I mean... Okay, oh! Oh, we get to play as Ted now, okay. What the fuck is going on here? What is a red cloth? Uh, wait, do we need to talk to this guy first? Oh, these are the Mugshot Brothers. Let's talk to them. These are the ones that helped Millie get out, right? I had a feeling I'd find you two lurking around. How is it that whenever something fishy goes down, you two are peeking around the corner? Save your monologues for the shower, Snoop. We <laughs> didn't do it. And what exactly didn't you do? Whatever you're implying, we did or didn't do. So you did it. I like his it voice. Depends. Depends on what. If we did whatever you're hinting that we did, or for that matter, didn't do, and if the answer might incriminate us to a certain degree, then as a fact, I can state that we didn't do it. See? But if not See? doing it, whatever it is you're implying we did or didn't do would put us in the same position as in the previous statement, considering it was true, then we certainly did do it. <sighs> this is going nowhere. No, it's not. Crook, you could have had a career as a lawyer, <laughs> although the two aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah? That's true. Well, if you weren't a snoop, you could have had a career as a drunk, although the two aren't mutually exclusive. See? Don't Damn. Don't smart with me. Got him. I'll take you downtown faster than you can say I'm guilty. Now start spilling the beans, or this friendly get-together might turn out ugly for you, too. Where is Flint? Where is Flint Ashworth? Beats me. He wasn't here when we arrived. Is he missing? Uh, I have this two tickets. Two tickets? What do we have two tickets for? No, I'm just asking because I have these two tickets for Wuthering Heights on Ice. <laughs> oh, it's just wonderful. The reviews are overwhelmingly positive. Shut up, uh, John. John, he's just pulling your leg. So you're saying you had nothing to do with his disappearance? Who do you take us for, Snoop? We ain't no kidnappers. The kid probably went to see his friends or something, see? Besides, in the middle of the night, in the dark, kid. in the rain? I'm sure, he's fine. Sure, because kidnapping is way over the line for you two. It's one of the few things missing from your M.O. 
Maybe you thought you should step up the game. Who put you up to it? Whoa, whoa, as I said, we ain't no kidnappers, see? We may have our differences, you and I, but you know we would never go as far. Hmm. All right, you're off the hook for now. Hmm. I don't know. I'm still suspicious. I'm still suspicious, Ted. Uh, do they know about you the Red Man? Lives heard anything about the Red Man? We might have heard something. My memory's a bit fuzzy these days, see? Okay, you better cooperate. Well, if you cooperate, maybe I can forget about that nasty carrot smuggling operation you two are running on the <laughs> west side of town. C carrot smuggling? I don't know anything about no carrot smuggling, see? It's all for private use. My brother here is a big individual, and he needs his vitamins and such, see? <laughs> Ain't that right, John John? Smuggling is such a strong word. That's right, John John. I love the voice acting in this game. Why are you guys here? Why are you just hanging so, out in here? Why are you here, exactly? That's none of your business, Snoop. Listen here, you lowlife. Mm. I know you operate on the west side these days. I've seen you down with your face in the mud coming out from those 24-hour carrot bars near the harbor. <laughs> I know you've seen things. You two better start being useful, or else. Oh, I like a panicus. How about you take a long walk down the short pier, see? We ain't seen nothing. We're just a couple of them hard-working individuals, see? We know our rights. We pay them taxes and such. What's a snoop like you even gonna do? You ain't a cop, see? You got that right, pal. I ain't a cop. That just means I can throw a couple of knuckle sandwiches your way before I take you two lowlifes in. Not that anyone would care. I can just say I found you that way, or that the Reef King got to you before I did. Maybe it's time you leave two exemplary citizens like us alone and find exemplary yourself someone citizens. else you can bother, see? I hear that crazy old coot's been chasing seagulls down at the harbor lately. Maybe he can help you, see? CBG. Haven't seen him in a while. You're saying he knows something. It's worth a shot, ain't it? It's not like you're getting anywhere with us. That's it's true. just that getting the information out of him might prove to be quite a task, see? Don't worry about that. Me and him go back a long way. He'll talk to me. All right. Why? Why they escape? Why did you escape the city? Who says we escaped? Me and John John just came to enjoy ourselves out in the country. See, we might take up fishing or hiking. Yeah, those types of things. That's just great news, Jimmy. I love it here. It's so relaxing. Sure. And your escape had nothing to do with the recent activities regarding the Red Man. What Red Man? Also, Snoop, Native American is the proper nomenclature, I do believe. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, so stop playing dumb. Wow. Not you, big guy. I know you <laughs> can't help it. Help what? <laughs> what are we talking about? Forget it. I just don't get why you protect someone that made you flee the city in the middle of the night. Hold on there, Snoop. We're not protecting anyone. It's just that this guy, he's not your average sap, see? Your memory's getting a bit better, eh? Hey, we want to see this all sorted out as much as anyone. With all the folks leaving the city, it's, well, it's bad for business. Sure, sure, I can only imagine. What do you know about it? Not much, and the things we heard are mostly just stories. He's setting fires and whatnot down in the city. He wants to see it all burn, see? No one will stop this guy, Snoop. Not even you. He's the reckoning this city was due for. He won't stop until everything is dust, and we lie forgotten in the sands of time. What? What the <sighs> hell are you talking about, John John? Don't listen to him. He had a rough night. Hmm. Well, you two were useful as always. I have to <laughs> go. When I come back, I hope for your sake, nothing will be missing. Besides the kid, you mean? You trying to be funny, or you got the sudden urge to confess? The first one. Yeah. See you later, Snoop. You better believe it. One more thing. You didn't find a key by any chance lying around the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. It was just lying on the floor. That's what I thought. How about you hand it over to me? I'll keep it safe for you guys. Sure thing. There you go. Now, don't go telling people we never helped you. It's like we're partners now. See? Sure. He's supposed to have, like, a cigar. Ah, see? All right, so we got a key, right? Did we just get a key? We did. Parents room key. Hell yeah. Okay, we can go into another room now. Let's check out some stuff in here. Uh, here's the fort. Here's a red cloth. What is this red cloth? Well, this thing really stands out. Yeah, it does. Let's take it. We'll have to find another way. What? How are we supposed to find another way? Uh, I don't know. Do we just have to start looking inside of stuff? What's in the small cabinet? No. Uh, paintings, paintings, window. The wise man once said. The windows are the eyes of a house. Oh, yeah, that's wise. Okay, here's a guitar. It's an accordion. That's a fucking guitar! It says guitar on the screen. Um, clothes, clothes. Level 6 sword. We can use this? 
Oh, yes. I'll just sell this sword, buy some revives for later. <laughs> uh, clothes, clothes. What's in this side of the Storage closet? space reserved for various miscellaneous. Okay, box. Can I look in the box? Can I look in this big box? What's in this the one? The size of this box is only matched by its inability to comprehend reality. Okay, well, I can't... Uh, random papers, no. Glass. A car. A toy car, maybe. I don't know. I'm not in the car evaluation business. Okay, um... How do I get up there to get this, then? It just says you'll have to use another we'll way. Have to find another way. Uh, how? How do we do it, then? I, I don't know. I don't know how I'm supposed to get up there. I, I guess maybe there's nothing I can do. Maybe I gotta go to the, I gotta go to the parents' room now. Maybe let's go to the parents' room. Although uh, she's about to be very happy with me that I found that key. Those two clowns are in there, not being useful as always. Did you ask them about Flint? I did. They didn't know anything. I think they're just hiding from someone. The red man? That's my best bet. But who knows with those two? So Flint's not in there? No. What should we do, Ted? We have to find him. Well, we're not going to find him standing here. We should check other rooms. Maybe he's hiding somewhere. Mugshots gave me this key to your parents' room that they, mm, totally just found lying on the floor. We should start there, then. Such forward ideas. You're going to be a fine detective one day. <laughs> Thanks, Bear. You, too. Got him. All right, let's go to the parents' room. All the way east. Rusty's going to be out here just sleeping away. Uh, parents' room. All right. Let's get... Oh, I still have the sword. That's awesome. Could I have used the sword to, to knock down the right thing? I don't know. We'll, co we'll come back. Uh, use parents' room key on parents' room. That makes perfect sense. Click, click. Open. Yes. It's unlocked. Hope I don't get into trouble over this. <laughs> we gotta do what we gotta do. We gotta find Flint. Oh, this is a nice room. Look at all this. There's shoes. There's a camera. Can I use the camera? I want it. I'm gonna hold on to that for later. I'll take this film strip with me. Maybe I can develop it later. What? What? How old is that camera? It has a film strip in it? Okay, can we open up the An armoire? Armoire. That's fancy talk for closet. Okay, we can't open it. Uh, there's nothing in the bed. Just talking about the bed. Who is this creepy dude? A painting of some guy. Let's name him. Jeffrey. What do you think, Ted? I don't. But he does look like a Jeffrey. Jeffrey <laughs> creepy face. Oh, His I don't like that. Follow us around the room if he had any. I don't like that big plant. I feel like these should grow in a pond. I could be wrong. Okay, chandelier. Uh, wait. Heavy dusty curtain. It's a decorative curtain. It's so old it was used as a tunic by Caesar's accountant. Okay. Uh, she just has little one-liners to say about everything. Is there stuff like hairbrush? I don't need. Uh, For tell me about it. your hair. I like my hair more en naturel. You mean you don't brush it and just wear it whatever way it was when you woke up? Yep. Yeah. That's the idea. Sounds like a great idea. Okay, there's a vase. Nothing I can. Nothing else I can do in here. High heels. Uh, bed. I already looked at shoes under there. They're just running around chasing me. Uh, plastic wrap. It's plastic wrap for your clothes. Oh. For some reason. Okay. Let's go in. There's a dark room in here. Can we develop that film strip I just got? Bum, bum, bum. They have a dark room in their bedroom? They do. That's creepy as fuck. Okay. Safe. Do we know? We have to know a combination, I'm sure. What's that machine over there? What does it do? Oh, we have to start over here. Come on, Ted. Film enlarger. Nothing happened. There's something missing. Oh, we gotta put our film on there. Film strip. Use film strip on film enlarger. There you go. Now use the film enlarger. What happened? Nothing happened. There's something missing. What the fuck? Uh, photo developing Just stuff. Just a bunch of stuff used to develop photos. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, what do I what do I need? I need Do I need I don't know, a latent image. There we go. And now do I need to put that on here too? There we go. 
All right, use the film enlarger. Okay. There. Now is it over? Is that it? Looks the no. same to me. Some detective you are. Obviously something happened. We need to use the developing liquids now and then we get the photo. Canister, duct tape. Oh, we're going to grab that duct tape. You'll always need duct tape. Put that in your pocket, little girl. I'll take this tape with me. I can use it to tape Ted to a flagpole. <laughs> okay, containers. Uh, used to develop photos of you going to visit your boring old relatives that one summer when you had nothing else to do. Big ass bottles. Big ass bottles. Just a bunch of bottles. Two to be exact. Nothing interesting about them. Where's the, uh, that's just a canister, measuring cylinder, pipe, uh, lights. How do I get the, these where the liquids are, canisters, canisters, uh, jar, science bottles, book. Roll of film. An undeveloped roll of film. Not much else to say. Where are the, uh, the things that I need to develop these? All these canisters are all just empty. Container, 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 jar. There's no... I don't know. Can I use the safe now? Oh! Is it 066? Was that the number? No. It's a three-digit code. Uh, what was the number? Uh, I don't remember. No. What was the number on the bottom of that that statue back in the study? Okay, let's go back into the study. I have a couple ideas of things I wanted to do when I was in there anyway. So let's head back that way. Come on, guys, move your butts. Okay, we're back in the study. Um, first thing I wanted to try is using this sword to see if I can knock the key down up here. How do I... There we go. Come on. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, it was worth a shot. Um, let me check the bottom of this statue. What was that number again? There's a number written underneath. 107. What does it mean? Ten sevens, the police code for an unconscious or a dead person. That's a little grim. I don't make the rules. I sure as hell don't follow them either. I know you don't, Ted. Okay, 107. That's the number to get in the safe because it's a three-digit number because it stops me after three digits. So, 107. Hopefully I don't forget it by the time I get to the other room. What was it? 10, 106? What did I say? 106? 106. I'm just kidding. I didn't remember it. It's 107. Okay, let's go into the dark room. And I notice I still have that latent image. Maybe I just need to drop it in those tubs. Maybe? Just... Drop it in the containers. I think that's what I need to do. Uh, but for now, I'm going to use the safe. Ted, where are you going? Wrong way. There you go, buddy. Okay, 107. Oh, oh, that was successful. We're we in. Go. It was the number from the statue. Not a police code for anything, Mr. I don't follow no rules. <laughs> hey, these are the liquids for developing pictures. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, look at me. Look at me. Do I need to measure them out or just pour them directly in the containers? There. No measuring. Just we pouring. We just need the empty photo thingy to put it in. Empty photo thingy to put it in? What does that mean? Do I need to put the latent image in there? What did I... Oh, I just oh got a chill. God, Ted, that's him. That's the red man. He's in my house. Okay, nope. Calm down. That could be anyone. Oh, no. Nope. No, it's him. He's in my house and he did something to Flint. I have to find mom and dad. Wait, don't be so rash. There's probably an explanation for this. Mm -mm. Don't get your parents involved, doll. They're having a hard time as it is. Um, this could be just a prank is all I'm saying. We should get back to Millie. Yeah, you're right. Okay, all right, well. We have to wait, though. The room is locked by a mechanism connected to that machine over there, and it will unlock in a couple of minutes. My dad made it like this so no one would barge in and light up the room when he's developing photos. All right, so we wait. So, Some... have you been lately? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I love the humor in this game.
What? Am I controlling the red man now? Uh... I am! What the fuck? I don't like this. I don't like it. Should I go into the parents' room with the red man? Um... Oh, he can't get in. It's locked. Can I go into the study with the red man? Why am I controlling the bad guy? He doesn't say anything. He just doesn't go into any rooms. He just walks up to them and says dots. What the fuck's happening? Ah, don't look at me. With your fucking light up little eyes. Okay. Can he go into Flint's room? It says use Flint's room. No, he can't go in there either. Amber's room. No! Oh god. What's he gonna do? Don't hurt Millie! Attack! What? I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Is there something I can do inside the closet first? Oh god, I don't want to do it. Ignore me, Millie. Ignore me. I'm sorry. Nope. I can't do anything but attack Millie. She's so old! Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting that at all, but this game just gets more and more interesting. Oh my god. I took on the role of a murderer. I'm the bad guy too. That's so that's such an interesting thing. I like that so much. This game is so much fun. Anyway, before that cutscene, I was going to leave this episode, but uh, obviously I couldn't leave in the middle of that. So this is a good place to stop episode 3 of Bear With Me. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this game. I know I sure am. And I really look forward to the next episode, and uh, hopefully you guys will join me back for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up right down below me. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd really appreciate it if you would. That way you can keep up to date with all my new videos, and I will see you guys later. Bye! All together. Uh, go this way. Okay. Then come across this way. Uh, and then come across this way. Nice shot! I only got one little balloon though, that wasn't good. But I did, oh, I, get, I did get two, because they gave me the freebie one right at the beginning. Okay. Uh, I'm up here now. Ah!